Welcome back to Rock Review. Today we're at TJ Maxx. If you guys like walk through what's in my bag, stay tuned. And if you're new here, welcome. So when I walked in, I saw this cute item, long shop. And it looks like it's $39.99. It seems like a good deal. I might pick this up, but I want to look around first. Also saw this clear pouch with the Steve Madden scarf and hat for $29.99. Thought that was a cute item and good deal. You get th three items for one. And this one was such a cute bucket bag. Love the color, orange. It looks like it's $100, like $99.99. Super cute. My daughter was trying to show me this pouch. I thought it was cute but I think it was a little pricey for just a little pouch wristlet but it's not bad if you're into pouches and I saw some Patricia Nash because this one reminded me of that coach attached card and then I saw this Juicy Couture wallet card wallet for $7.99 I thought it was super cute then I was trying to have my daughter helped me open see how it looks inside because I only have one hand free. Super cute. And then I saw this little speedy looking satchel. It reminded me of the Coach B18, the size. And I thought it was cute. It came with this little pouch. And then I was trying to find the tag to show you what was the brand. If you wanted to see if you can find it in your nearest TJ Maxx. And that's what it's called. Super cute. Then I saw this little cute dog on this pouch. Thought that was cute for $34.99. And then this cute black satchel. Also super cute. But it was incredibly busy. And I was trying to film. So I didn't really look too long this one's another juicy couture so cute let me know if you see anything you guys like definitely comment down below if you see anything that catches your eyes that are cute and you're planning on picking it up definitely comment down below as i was walking through i saw some nanette lapore bags super cute bags oh and this cute little backpack from juicy couture thought it was super cute Trying to open if it has that signature line that I like. Yes, it does. Super cute. This is really a cute backpack. And I was trying to show what comes with it and the original price. And the price they're selling for. Super cute. Let me know if you see anything. And this caught my eye because of the blue color. Thought it was so pretty. The color was so vibrant. In case you're interested. And I found this little Kipling. Let's check out how much they're selling it here. It's not bad for $29.99. But definitely check out your Kipling outlet near you. This was giving me uh, Bottega vibe so I definitely checked it out for $69.99 super cute I like how it looks inside you could take out that pouch the black pouch if you wanted to and I was looking through and found this um, leather bag crossbody by Patricia Nash if you guys are looking for a small bag this one's super cute for original $129 but now it's I think $59.99 in case you're interested, it's at TJ Maxx. And here's a quick peek how it looks inside. Super cute. Alright, I am from TJ Maxx. And I pretty much just got a few things. And technically just two. So, I think you saw them in the beginning of the video. And I think this was the middle of the video. So, I saw this long shop and I thought it was a really good deal. So, I grabbed it. I bought a small one from the long time store outlet and it was almost close to that price so I thought this was an amazing deal I think I paid $35 if I made a separate video on this I'll put it here otherwise it's going to be included in this video so let's go back to the items I got so again I got this long shop and this juicy couture um, wristlet it's so cute everyone's into a juicy couture kick lately so I just grabbed one item just um, because I didn't see much that I like 
I think in the footage I found a few, but I am drawn to this pattern. And I just want to grab an SLG because I thought it goes kind of well with this. And it has pink in it. So this one is so cute. It has this handle and I was thinking, how do I make this into a bag? So maybe later on I'll show you. Right now I'm just going to show you the bag. What I got and how much I paid for. So it's just a normal, kind of like the tote, but it's just one handle, not two. Which is fine. And this is how it looks inside. It's just a wipeable material. Very nice. So you can you get it all wet or something kind of um you know broke and like those loose powder sometimes they get loose you can turn them inside out and wash it you can see it's very wipeable i love long time they last pretty long and everything inside is wipeable this is also wipeable everything is wipeable in this bag which i like and the zipper is super smooth This is the leather part. See, very nice. And I paid $39.99 for this bag. Originally $65, but depends on what material and which bag. I've seen them as close as $90 also online. If I find anything, I'll put the picture here. But yeah, if you look this up, this is what's the name. Longchamp, it says past season, which I don't care. I honestly can't tell. Most of their products all look the same to me. It's not something I would catch right away if it's past season. They all look the same because it's very classic. So it's timeless to me. This is how much, and it's the Longchamp Le Pliage. I'll put the full information down below or somewhere in the screen. And this one, there's an era that was Juicy Couture was just a big thing. I think it was in the 90s, I'm not sure. But this is how much original price, $7.99. Oh, actually it's $35. So now, this one doesn't have an original tag. So I'm, I'm thinking this is an incorrect pricing. As it says, compare at $65. Here it says compare at $12. But the original Juicy Couture tag says $35. And it's called Forget Me Not Pink, Bloom, Black. If you're looking at, to this card wallet. So this is just like the Coach card wallet. So if you look at my recent video with the Mickey Mouse collaboration with Keith Haring, I'll put it here. There's a similar wallet as this one, but the zipper on this one is a lot shorter, which I dislike, but it's not a deal breaker because again, it's $8, $7.99. Um, you can put probably just coins. I love the interior of the Juicy Couture, so I got it really like their um, most of them are consistent and they use the same interior which i like so this is super cute it has two pockets here two pockets here also carries on that signature line and you can just probably just put a coin there and that's it and you have this heart shaped juicy couture and they're both gold hardware this and that so now let's see what we can fit in these items okay so let's start with this card holder from juicy couture from tj maxx i have 16 total cards here of course i don't think it'll fit in there it's pretty thick so these are have no value just use it for this type of video so let's get started first let's just put it regular so one of each again these have no value so we have four total outside, two here, two here. I don't think it's going to fit in here, the card. And plus it's very tight because I just put the card, some cards here. The room distributes because you put cards here, so it kind of makes it tighter in this end. So right now it's very tight already for four cards, but I don't think it'll fit a card. It, yeah. I, it's gonna if it's hard to put it in I'm pretty sure it's gonna be hard to take out so I'm not even gonna do that let me just zoom in a little so pretty much all you could put in here is coin or folded money here I'm gonna put maybe you can double oh it's yeah you can double up definitely but again the more you double up the more the less room you have in here because yeah so uh, the max I would do is probably two 
for each slot if you really need to go three so so far i have four cards so two four so two in each slot two four six eight a total of eight cards so if you have more cards than you need to bring you can push it to was it eight nine ten again it's very tight so three would be max for each slot so that was 10, 11, 12. I have 12 cards total. Let's see the middle. It's pretty tight. Now I can just put one finger. Um, if it's just coin, you could just go like this and just go on your hand, but it's gonna be very tight. So I guess the max is 12 is my suggestion. If you need to put 12 cards in this little card slot let me try to put coins in um some bills all right i'm back i have about seven coins here let's put that in and it's hard i'm pushing it this way as you can see my thumb and my uh, index finger my thumb, my fingers are pressing it like this just so i can open it because again i have 12 cards on the slot this is only if you need 12 that's like the max so it works pretty bulky i mean it's still slim it's not bad so yeah it works and you just go like this and pretty much try to get some coins out as you can see sometimes since it's oh since it's so tight it wasn't letting me so i had to like you know brush it and maybe my max is probably not three cards in each slot Again, for just this video, I'm putting the max items I can put in this Juicy Couture um, wallet, card wallet. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Honestly, I would only put five bills in there because it's already hard to um, put in the coins. So since it's seven coins and some bills, I don't know if it'll slip through. I'll put it this side so I don't rip the bill. I might have to double. I probably have to fold it again. So yeah. Um. So I might have to fold it like this. Yeah. Which is sad. But if you really need to get put some money in there, five bills, seven coins, twelve cards is the max for this little card wallet. I my opinion so if you can exceed that great but again it does fit a lot it's very stretchable it doesn't look like it's damaging either because of this material it's like the coated canvas it's very well made for a seven dollars and 99 cents card super cute i also wanted to show you how, if it's easy to, to remove that i mean it was kind of catching from the zipper but i wanted to show you how hard it is if it is to take if it's hard to take out the money so basically you push two thumbs out and you can get it out it's just i mean it's not bad i guess and get the coins out so it, it's still usable but that's only if you really need to use a small wallet like this and that's all you want you want to carry everything in this wallet okay so i know this is not for my tj max haul but i want to show you how much i can fit in this pouch in case i haven't made that video one two three four five okay so those five cards if you have more i think you can fit it's pretty much not that hard to come off because this opens really wide look so yeah and it's kind of loose you see how you have space there still to maneuver not too tight so i'm pretty sure you can put a stack of card so i'm gonna add seven more cards so plus five that i already have in there so that's a total of 12. so i i think you can just use this all for cards you can put like a whole stack of cards in here and you'd be okay but if i want to use it as a wallet you can definitely use that for maybe multi-purpose so let's say you're just a card person can also put your lipstick let's say your mascara lipstick um two different types of lipstick you can as well so that fits with your cards 
if you just want to use it as a multi-purpose you could also put it in there again you're just using this as a multi-purpose for some reason One, two, three, four, five. again are you trying to use it as multi-purpose and you just want to put it here maybe i should have put the coins here but it's already in there so i'm just gonna leave it and if it's a lot look at this for this little pouch this one i got for 35 but this one I got for $39.99, so this is a better value. And we'll get to that in a moment, but this is how it looks so far. So squeeze some wipes. I have two here. I just folded them if you needed to. Just, you can use this like a wallet slot, like a little mini purse, pretty much. If you just want to bring one, you can also squeeze a sanitizer in there. Yeah, so you can't put, maybe you can. Let me try but yeah you can but it's kind of bulky already so i would just put i already have a lipstick in there and a mascara so you have you can just do makeup so this is kind of like a catch-all mini purse wallet kind of if you needed to use this so that's how it looks super cute so now let's see what we can fit in this bag so this is of my battery pack. It is the same equivalent size as my iPhone Pro Max. So I'm going to put that in first. Let's say this is going to be my wallet for the day. Because it is a small pouch. You can use it as your cosmetic, but I'm using it as a bag. A little mini bag. So then I get this um, Lovely Edge Extra Small with my cosmetic. Um, let's see if it fits. I'm going to put this in. See? Yep, it fits. It's kind of bulky. I might have to take out that big makeup for right now. For the sake of video, I'll leave it in there. And then my, my wallet. My sanitizer. I'm going to sneak that in here. I think that's it. If you have a, need a mask, you can stuff it on the top. This is how it will be so much. Nice. Alright. Ooh, pretty bulky so i might need to take out that little pouch but it does fit if you have that pouch there you go that's how it looks super cute so i might take out the pouch i just want to bring my makeup my two lipstick and mascara and just put it in there and that's how it looks and it looks much more compact and you can put more stuff if you need to it also fit a regular wallet which is what i'm using i have to take out the lipstick first fit a medium wallet Let's put that in there you go that's how it looks so far And that's how it looks. Super cute. Look at that. This looks much better. So it looks slimmer. Looks so good. No feet. It looks on top. Super cute. So this is how it looks. You carry it top handle. And you can roll over your hand. And now we're going to turn it into a crossbody. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. Bye! Don't forget part two of this video on how to turn this small Lepliage long shop into a crossbody. Thanks for watching!